He's straight shirt cocking it. More on that. And plenty of baby dicks and balls tonight at 12. Baby ass. And baby <laughs> ass. Let's, let's say that. Join us today as we discuss perhaps the hottest film of this young summer. Yes. Deadpool is... 2. Yeah. Well, it may not be the best film I've seen this year. It certainly will make the most money. Yes. It's, it's going to... Personally, it's gonna um... Make a lot of money. Did you want to kind of give, um... Your thoughts on, thoughts. The, on the first film first? Kind of give people a reference? Well, the first film, I mean, first film? I, it's an okay movie. It's not bad. It's yeah. good, but it, I don't know. It just always just upsets me when I see, like, a movie that's okay or good yeah. make, like, the most money ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, it had, like, a $58 million budget, the first one. And so when it made a lot of money, it was nice to see an R-rated movie just make a lot of money. Um, yeah. But it's... I just, I mean, I've said it to you before. I mean, I think Deadpool 1 is a shitty action movie. I think it's, yeah. a, it's a decent comedy, but it's a shitty action movie. And, I was uh, going to say that, too. The action in this one was better. Significantly better. For those who have those yes. trepidations. So, I mean, I, I thought it was, I thought Deadpool 1 was, like I said, it was funny. It was, it was it decent. Some, it had at least a couple yeah. jokes that'll land, no matter who you are, almost. Yeah. Unless you're 12, and your parents brought you to the theater. <laughs> On our my way in, I discovered in front of me stealing the best seats in the house. The seats with the rails, as I like to call them. Not very concise, I know, but that's what I call them. There was at least five, six, seven, like eleven or twelve year olds, and I yeah. immediately like, ah, come on, they're in the wrong movie. But then I remembered my youth as an eleven and twelve year old. Yeah. We would sneak into R rated movies every fucking week, man. If we wanted yeah. to see it, we were going to see it. Yeah, I mean, my, my dad would take me to R-rated movies, and I was just paved. So I, I was I was the one kid in the theater. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, um, what is your comment on children seeing this film? Uh, I think it's a bad idea. I mean, this movie is so fucking vulgar. It's, I mean, there's a difference between, like, seeing well, Commando... It's not as bad like as, um, It's not as bad as South Park. I saw yeah, that in my I, youth in I'll, theaters. I'll be honest. I, I went to see Team America World Police with my dad, and he was, like, trying to fall asleep during it. He, he wanted to walk out. He was so pissed off. Embarrassed? Yeah, he, he did not. Yeah, he wanted. He, he did not want to be there at all. So, yeah. um, we didn't see the first one. We saw the second one. Yes, we saw the second one. My immediate reaction is, I liked it better in the first, but it's not yeah. a great comedy or great action movie. It had no. better action for sure, but Absolutely. you know, still sort of a toned down, homogenized. I don't know if yeah. I want to go that far. Yeah, I don't there wasn't anything that. really special about it. Maybe no, there, there wasn't any real set pieces that really stuck out to me. Where I was well, like, not wow, just the action, is... like in, as a whole. You know what I mean? Nothing really is gonna. I'm not gonna probably want to see it again unless somebody's just throws it on yeah you know I, mean, I mean maybe when the third one comes out i'll rewatch it it's not it it didn't really work for me i'll be honest yeah. uh it's okay i mean you there's at least some that. good jokes right you gotta at yeah. least give them that there, there, there's some funny jokes in it uh if you loved the first movie you're you're really gonna enjoy pretty this much one. more the same yeah yeah uh david leach directed this who is one of the co-directors of john wick and he also did atomic blonde and, the credits. Now the credits finally yeah, make sense yeah. to me a little more. <laughs> but um, yeah, he he does a way better job than the last guy, Tim Miller. Like the the, the, the first movie is just so like CG, like shitty to me. Yeah. And there's a lot of scenes in this where you know his kind of because he, he was a stuntman, so a lot of the fight choreography you see, which is nice in this. It's yeah, it's at least a f actual you know fight. It's not yeah. you know what I mean. It's not yeah. uh, cheap. I don't know. Yeah. It looks at least passable. At the yeah. very least, it looks passable as a fight. And this this is a tough one to talk about because I don't know like what the synopsis was like in the trailers, really of what the setup for the movie was. Oh, it would have been just it would have just been weirdness because it's yeah. you know what I mean. I remember it been like the kid was in yeah. the trailer. I didn't see it. Yeah, so, I saw one commercial where he's riding a unicorn. He's like, "You're in my dreams." Yeah. So I mean, I I guess I would say like the basic plot of this is it's very reminiscent of like T2 kind of you know T2? it's like, yeah Terminator 
Terminator yeah, 2. Yeah, now that you said, at first I'm like, wait, it's, what? And then, yeah, It's really yeah. a lot like Terminator 2. Basically, Cable is from the future. He's coming to get this kid. And Deadpool's got to protect the kid, you know. So it's There's it's got a couple other things, but I can't remember. Yeah, I, I just I just, I'm worried about spoiling certain things for people. Well, but that's um, the jumping off point. Yeah, I would this say. this is our plot. um this is our sort of you know broad impressions. And yeah, stuff, broad yeah. impressions. Our brush strokes, if you will. <laughs> I um my notations are not as diligent as they should be. I think <laughs> schizophrenic <It's>, mess, huh? <laughs> it's um fever dream. <laughs> Overall, yeah, like you said, if you like Deadpool, see it. If you like Marvel or superhero yeah. movies in general, you're going to like it. Humor, at least there's a couple jokes. At least there's yeah. a few times I laugh. It's, it's, once again, it's a lot of reference stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of reference But stuff. it was just, just obs a few of them were just obscure enough for me to at least <laughs> get some yeah. enjoyment out of that. Yeah, we'll get into some of those spoilers where, it, much like the first film when they bring up Alien 3... And how uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead looks like Ripley. Yeah. And I was the only person in the theater laughing. There's one movie reference in there where just like, there's people who were like pretending to laugh, but they didn't, they didn't understand anything. Like, like the kids didn't. in front of us? Yeah. They, they've never seen the movie that was There was up one, but times. I can't remember. Was it uh, the one on Jewish one that I'm thinking of, or is it another one? No, no. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought that same thing. They're laughing like, you guys know what they, that they've is? They've never seen these these. The, yeah, the it's really just, you know, he's saying that. fucking shit and all that, yeah. and they're going to start chuckling. I get it. I was a child once yeah. in Scary Movie. They want to feel part of the club. Yeah, so. and that's okay. Uh, I will say that, as far as, like, the cinematography, I think it looks way better than the first movie. Like, there's, like, the, the blues, the purples. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of beautiful lighting in it. And, but, I mean, um, there's no real... Yeah, but there's... I don't know. There weren't many sets or scenes that I really am... Oh, except for the hospital no. where we're at, like, for three or four separate scenes. I'm not really gonna... Uh, I mean, know. I think that... There's there's a prison scene that I think is really well cool. Like, the prison the reminded me of lit. something else. What did the prison remind me of? Never mind. Hopefully yeah. it'll come to me. Deadpool goes to prison. <laughs> Which is a nice little touch. Um, I, will, I will say... When this movie started, it it was wearing on me. I was like, oh no, I don't I don't know about this. Like it, yeah. it was, I didn't have the same well, enjoyment. The twists, I was on board at first. I'm like, all right, it's gonna start get going. But then, all the major plot points were pretty transparent, wouldn't yeah. you say? Yeah, it's it's. I mean, they reference that they were breaking the fourth wall way more than the first movie. And they're they're very they they're, they're well aware of the movie's yeah. cliches and what it's doing and what it's referencing. Just the, you know. I mean, like the plot, the points of the plot, I could see it coming Just the whole each way. Kind of progression, momentum. You could yeah. tell where it was going. We'll get into that more when we get into spoilers. Yeah. Um, so, what what were your negatives? What, what was the problem for you? It ran a little long. It, it did feel a little long. Yeah. Um, more. Not jokes, but references, or like another thing of this comedy is genera generation of comedy is, you know, just say something obscene. Hey there, sweaty, sweaty bald dick. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious, guys. I just made that up in two seconds. <laughs> What's yeah. your excuse? Yeah, I'm trying to think of like what type of comedies that that do that a lot because it's it, that's not like something new. here and back. To Hell and Back. To Hell and Back. Oh, that stop motion anime. Yeah, movie. I liked it. I watched it once. I really thought it was funny. I watched it and I'm like, that's all this is. Just, just random You shit sweaty you vagina belch. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's cool, I guess. Not really a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that Seth MacFarlane kind of non-jokey thing. See, Seth MacFarlane could be good, though. I really like American Dad, the first few seasons mm -hmm. of that. It's very yeah. goofy and also critical i guess i don't know yeah i i just would you recommend those this to those who want to have a question to see it uh yeah i mean listen if if you're interested in seeing it and you saw the first one and you liked it yeah Why sure not? what the fuck we, else yeah, you there's doing? there's nothing out there's literally fucking nothing out really to see there's a Muppet so, movie um well, that's with sex and for... stuff that's going to come out in a while <laughs> i wasn't later. excited at the beginning of the preview my excitability waned shortly thereafter. 
But, uh, yeah. As, <laughs> Cutting them off every way as, I can. As far as, uh, as, far as recommendations, uh, if, if you like the first one, you know, yeah, sure. But, but if you didn't like the first one, just avoid it. it it's, hmm. it's, I don't think it's going to change your mind. It's not like a case where you didn't like the original, but you'll really love the sequel. Yeah, so, it's more the same, happens. essentially. Yeah. More the same. A little more emotional bullshit, though. I gotta let people know that before yeah. the spoilers. I'd say wait till it comes out, but I'm very cheap and I'm not really impressed by movies that easily. But if you have any inkling to see it, just go do it. Why yeah. not? What else you got to do? <laughs> Masturbate alone <laughs> with a unicorn or something. That happened at the beginning of the film. I don't the remember what was reference. No, in this one too. There was some masturbation be? reference. Mm. Maybe not a unicorn involved. The unicorn, but, there yeah. was some sort of masturbatory reference. Yeah. You yeah. you bet your you bet I remember that. Yeah, okay. there was there was definitely one that involves a soap dispenser. Oh yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Spoiler time. <laughs> yeah, since so, we just so, brought it up, we'll ruin that joke. I'll go on the spoilers. So. Um does he get it's after he blows himself up and he's just At ahead. I would have liked to have seen him. As just a head growing the, oh. a little bit, he goes from just a head straight to, like, oh, you were sleeping for three days. I think get of you. Right. Oh, I mean like kind of a green animator with yeah. just a head just sitting that there been fun. just growing. That would have been a good <laughs> reference for me. Right down, yeah. right up my fucking lane, man. Well, um, I mean the thing is they need him to. Yeah. They, they need to. They might even have. That might be a deleted scene for all we know. You know what I mean? The joke is, he's been so he's been staying at the X Men Ranch, whatever it's called, and. He yeah. says, what is the rules or something? Somebody asks, what are the rules? What are you never supposed to do? Right. And he says, masturbate in the soap dish. And immediately the metal guy, Colossus, <laughs> just immediately smells his hands. Yeah. That really, He's like, I like oh, that. Oh, oh, <laughs> weird. Yeah. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yeah, that was, um, that, that, that was funny. <laughs> Any other uh, good jokes? The little, um, I thought the kid was Mexican at first, the little New, New Zealandy kid. Yeah, uh, that's something I should have brought Just up. Just the way earlier. he was talking. I, um, I saw him in a movie, uh, a few years the ago. A New Zealand movie? Yeah, it was by the same guy who did, uh, What We Do in the Shadows. It was called. They're making a show of that. Yeah, sad. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that great, but. Yeah. Uh, it was called Hunt for the Wilders People, and it was with Sam Neill. It's kind of like a coming of age movie. And you was, ever see The Hunter? Uh, the one with William Defoe. Yeah, yeah, where he's uh, after that, um, like Tasmanian ten Tasmanian tiger. Thing. It's just because New Zealand. I thought Zealand that was film. a good movie. Yeah, it was very good. It. It, was it. It. it was on Netflix. I got it. That's oh, why did? I probably saw it on yeah, there. And it was on, it was on Netflix. I thought it was good. Wilder Underrated people. Un Wilder people. Yeah. Wilder. Yeah, Hunt for the Wilders people. Yeah. And um, yeah, that kid was in it, and he was fantastic. His comic timing. Yeah. And he's really good in this movie. I liked him a lot. Yeah, he was good. Uh, um, he's he just maybe gotta... was a little cheesy during the I'm evil parts, but he's got to sell it Actually, somehow. that's another thing I wanted to bring up is that the line that the guy uses who tortures the kids, I really found that, like, impactful. That The, the line before... Mm. That you know, before he tortures the kids, and plus and, it works for the kid. You yeah, know, and the kid who like once you're going into kind of these flashbacks of the future of him chanting flash that. Flash forwards. Uh, yeah, yeah, flash forwards of him just like, like that director of him J.J. Abrams like uh, killing and then just saying that line. I can't remember what it is. It's just, um, I use my hands as an instrument. It was nah, like, really cool. It's um, it's said something with hand. Then. See, it's pissing me off because yeah. I. You will be clean. I shall after my hand wash you will with my hand. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, I shall cleanse you. You will be clean yeah. by my hand after you are cleansed by yeah. my hand. I I really liked that. I thought it was just like a real dramatic thing. And yeah, it was, it was good, pretty but it went. He kept. I thought it was good, but I heard it too many times. It lost some of its and steam. All those scenes with the kid with the fire um, towards the end, like the it, beginning, it was. Bad. If you've seen the beginning, I oh, was, the beginning, I was it didn't look good. The CG was a little off. You but, wanna uh, fucking die, bitch? Because I thought he was Mexican. I'm like, what's that accent? Yeah. But uh, you gonna fucking die, bitch? Yeah. But to towards the end, it really gave me a lot of. Uh, uh, it made me really remind me of Firestarter. Which I was, is I was gonna. I, love. I was just about to complete your sentence. Yeah. Which I absolutely but I fucking love, and it's definitely. Enough. I have never seen it. Firestarter. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Love it. Young Drew Barrymore. Young she's Drew not annoying. Barry. 
No, she's not annoying in my opinion. But you, you don't like the whole telekinetic movie, so you'll probably hate it. No, I don't <laughs> telekinetic movie. I, I like scanners, but I just think it's goofy well, just seeing them. Scanners, you're like, Ugh. it's goof. Tell me, it's not goofy. Just I, I think it's awesome. I the like way it. he does it, it's like uh, Nolan's Inception. I think the entire plot is incredibly stupid, but he pulls it together well enough that yeah. it works as a movie overall. Yeah. The whole dream within a dream, you think, stupid? I think the way that he tried to make it, give it mm. concrete rules, sort of scientifically go in, no, we need a kick, we need this, I mm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, well, it didn't work for you. I, I like, I, I, I don't, like I think it's really the, smart. I like the I movie. It's a smart script. But. I think it's a good movie. I like the movie. Okay. I just think the, you think the, the narrative concept's is stupid. dumb. The concept, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, exactly. that's how you feel. What, what how do we get say? to talking about Inception? We uh, jump from somewhere. Firestarter, I think we were talking about. Scanners. Then, scanners, yeah, yeah scanners. It yeah. just, it looks, it's, when you sit back and think about it, they're just sitting there going, mm. South Park made fun of it once in an episode. Maybe well, that's like, why like I can't said, get past you know, it. It works for some people, it doesn't yeah. work for others. You know, I like the ending me. where, like, he combines brains with uh, the guy from Super Troop, not Super Troopers, the yeah, guy I from Battleship uh, Troopers. I haven't really watched it in a while. It's, on, it's on sale on Amazon for like seventeen twenty four, which is as cheap as you're ever going to get a Criterion. Fuck that. Wait till uh, it's the 50% off month's got to come June, July. You think it's going to be cheaper than the seventeen twenty four? If that's, well, is that its final price or is it on sale right now for it's like It's on 30? sale on Amazon to oh, mark okay. down and I just... The way the MSRP on Criterion is, they charge like forty dollars would be like twenty bucks. Yeah, it's a joke. They gotta pay out the ass for the rights to that. That or they uh, just they there's, fuck. There's, people, there's a know? lot of Blu-ray companies that don't have a problem. But anyway, we're yeah. getting off topic of the movie. Um, how did you uh, feel about Josh Brolin? He was good, but yeah. I could tell. Like I said to you before off off mic, I could tell what was gonna happen. What his whole deal was. As soon as he shows up and he starts shooting and. Uh, Deadpool's like, run, kid, he's after me. Uh, of course, that means he's after the little New Zealand kid. Right, yeah. He just came back in time. Okay, that means a little New Zealand kid does something terrible in the future. You know, yeah. it's, you gotta... It's got the looper thing. As long as you're just paying attention, maker. man, you can really pull it pull it together. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, all, it's, you know, it's T2, it's looper, They should have... The one thing they should have not done with um, Cable, the back... All the... Back flashes. Is that what it's called? Back flash? Back flashes? I mean. The memories, like showing his memories of the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they're his past. Yeah, Whatever that's called. Out. Yeah. They, should have, they shouldn't have shown so many. What was I saying? Back flashes. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. It's like Ready Gamer Go all over again. <laughs> <laughs> they showed like four, three, four back flashes. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. I can't. Jesus. Once I say it, it's set in stone. <laughs> flashbacks. Three or four flashbacks before they reveal his. Well, before they come out and tell you what his right. deal is. Yeah. They should have just cut all those out. Wait till the yeah. reveal to show you. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now I realize he's not the villain. He his kid's dead. Yeah, I mean, I I knew I was like, well, listen, they've got Josh Brolin signed up to multiple. He's a part of the X Force. Oh, okay. There's no way he's gonna do They're that. They're gonna really do X Force now. It's like an actual. Yeah, it's gonna be a team up movie. Which means there's gonna be a cable movie or a, that black chick. It's not like a Domino. six movie deal. Josh Brolin said, or a five movie deal. One of the things. So this is a good actor, but I'm just so sick of him. He's man. doing a Clint Eastwood impression, and it's you know it, it's okay. Do you think he did good? I yeah. think he did fine. Yeah, like I mean, it, he's yeah, he got fucking shredded for this movie. Yeah, he was pretty jacked. Yeah, but was you like, never oh, know how shit. much CGI they had to do for his robot arm. No, the robot no, noises. Dude. When he first shows look, up and is fighting. Look on his Instagram. I'm betting he's he, really jacked. He, he got okay? fucking But I'm saying, they can do some things. Oh, yeah, make absolutely. Make it a little better. No, yeah, they can remove pounds and everything. When he first like shows that. up and is fighting with Deadpool, they insisted on having the robot noises for every movement he made. I was really happy they cut yeah. that after that. Yeah. I'm kind of, that didn't bother me. I kind of like that. Well, I was just like, please that. don't. They're going to do this the well, whole the movie, break, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bothered you. Yeah. It's just like, it's. Come on, we don't need it. You know, yeah. we see the fucking metal arm. We know what the deal is. Yeah, here. that. I, I definitely would think. I think the best, like, action scene was in the prison with him and yeah. just all the fucking gunfighting. The, the rest scenes, of it, the other ones cool. where it was just, it'd be Deadpool fighting three, four guys and it would be pr relatively quick. It was cool. Yeah. 
And it wasn't towards, shaky cam, towards the really. End, it it was, wasn't shaky cam. Towards the end, it was... um Handheld, kind of. Sort of clustery, clustered. There's too yeah, much you're, going you're on. You're going from one character, then not zipping around, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't hard to follow, but it's just like... This exciting thing's happening, but then yeah. oh, we're gonna go over here for a minute. When you've seen really well choreographed action, it's 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 it you just doesn't snob? stop up. You an action yes, snob? I am action film aficionado. Get it right. What's the best <laughs> action film ever made? The best action film ever made? <laughs> Seven Samurai. I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I am betting it's more drama than Not, action, though. It's it, well, you need to watch it then. Have you ever seen Ran? You, Ron? you, you, uh, you remember Thirteen Assassins? You yeah. remember the second half of Thirteen Assassins? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 oh, how right. Sam Rock. That's cool. <laughs> I get down with that. Yeah. Fucking a like it's, Lord of the Rings, except not CGI it's, it's people. Incredible. It's it's. Incredible. You ever see Ran? Ron? Ron. From like eighty yes. nine, ninety. Yes. yes, I have. Is it, it good? Eighty five. It was close. Is it good? It's it's a Shakespeare adaptation. Yeah, kind of I'm thing. fine with it's, that. I mean, well, basically, like all movies are essentially Shakespeare it's, it's, adaptations it's in a way. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. old stories Some are repackaged. Really strict adaptations. So. Yeah, like Romeo and Juliet with Claire Danes and Leo. <laughs> God. Well, I do awful. love the opening scene of that. In the at the, the gas station sort of thing. That's the only scene I like. I remember it. That they've scene, got like the blinged much. out like nine millimeter with like and Mary shooting. and shit on it. Yeah. yeah. It's just very stylized. Was John Leguizamo it. in it? Was he in you the You might beginning? be right. You might be right. He Terrible sh- film. Yeah. Terrible film. I'm not a fan of... What's his fucking face? Who, who, Leo? No, no, the no. Director. The, the director. who did Moulin Rouge and all that shit. I just, I just can't stand him. Hmm. I don't know who it is. Yeah. That just shows how, how meaningless he is. <laughs> but, um... Marty? It's Glenn, right? Oh, that is that. I, that brings me up to uh, when they build the team, and they Pete. all just fucking. Di- I loved. I Pete. loved when they all died, though. That was I was pretty bummed cool. when he fucking died. I was like, no, come yeah. on, keep him around. He, I was, I, I wanted. To I see knew him as soon as whole... he assembled a team, and then we get the one guy's like, oh, I do this. It would have been so. I'm much like, better. all right, there's just gonna be yeah. a regular guy or a little girl or something. It, it just would have been so much better if he was the only one who made it out. And you just uh, he was stuck along for the ride. But then, yeah. what do they do with Dingpur? Uh, whatever. I'm sorry, people of India. I can't Abdul. remember his name. <laughs> it was something with a D. Yeah, I don't know his name, but he he's good comic relief too. He yeah, was good was for good. the first. He didn't one. wear out as well. If he was in it double the time, I'm betting he would get real not real annoying, but at least a it little. Would get old. Yeah. yeah, the Indian for guy. Sure. They go to him just enough, but the the scene towards the end was totally telegraphed with him. When they kill that villain guy. As, it went on too taxi. long. As soon as the guy's like, reckoning is at hand. And then he yeah. stands there. Even I, an un, a non-trained yeah. film person. All right, come on. Just get yeah, it over with. That, that was kind of lame. I was really hoping they'd kill that guy. The ending. Way. The ending as a whole was really lame to me. How do you feel oh, about when the he, when he was kept dying? <laughs> I no, really the kept dying was fine. That was the, after that, when he goes to his heaven and meets up with his lady yeah and then he were... walks through the fucking door and he yeah. like turns into yeah you were really himself. upset by that were, i wasn't really upset like, but i was the sign, movie like... the movie was i was ready for the movie then i'm like yeah, come you, on you're, don't, don't you be sappy be funny do something well funny. i mean listen the first one was a love story and they nah, yeah, got yeah. all that shit in it, it came out of the uh, i liked it i beginning. was shocked when they killed her at the i was not was... do you want to know why i did not know that I was... as they were embracing aha's take on me was playing do you know what was being said as soon as they embraced and no. you could hear the music clearly i'll mm. be gone in a day or two do you know what that tells me Don't she's dead up, yeah I didn't think right then, right there, but yeah, she was. I knew she was gonna die. Well, they do it just to get her out of the way for yeah. the plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't major, big thing. Yeah. Aside from him needing his vengeance and wanting to kill him. Yeah, it's just they want to get the story going, and she's in the way of the story, so let's just kill her off. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, what do you do with her if they don't kill her? She's just they, hanging they, out that by was her the side. Best decision. Yeah. To kill her off because it's like what I was f- happy like, they did quick yeah. too. They didn't fucking wait around. Yeah, it's like literally like she would have just bogged down the movie. Like she wouldn't have had enough nothing to do. I wrote backflash. <laughs> backflash, man. You on that backflash? Why um? 
are teen, the last two movies we've seen featuring teenage or that age lesbians. Why are their girlfriends <laughs> Asian girls uh, with you love colored that, hair? Though. You love those Asians yeah, with cool. uh, colored hair. You're into that shit. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty good. I did like that reoccurring uh, hey, y- Yukio. Yukio. Bye, Yukio. <laughs> that was good. Because have you ever been in that situation where, like, for some reason one of the people in the relationship fucking hate you but the other one's right, like oh yeah. he's fun he's cool yeah and like if you meet him in, in public and oh hey buddy awkward. hey rudy land <laughs> hey you kill yeah that, that that was funny it was good yeah i, I enjoyed that i it, knew it I was knew. a little weird that they made her a lesbo you know was like, it was a little too obvious because in the first movie she's got the shaved head she's all emo yeah. They don't give her anything to do in this movie either. They yeah, totally she push basically her to the just, side uh, from the first movie. She just re she just like She's sassy, she gives him the finger, that's about it. She's just an answer to Deadpool whenever he needs just a quick one. And she's there at the, the metal guy. She's there at Xavier's it. school for mutant children. I kinda like that joke where he's complaining about them not being in it and they're just behind him. Oh, when you see the X Men cast just close the door. Yeah. And you see him, yeah, that was okay. I, I thought they really went to I enjoyed when he was in Xavier's wheelchair going around. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. But it... it went on too much with yeah, X-Men with the stuff. helmet shit. And Did you like the training? Stewart. The whole trainee and training thing. Who do you think eh. it went on? Mm. Didn't work for me. Mm. The whole X-Men training thing. It How was did... kind of lame. Like, he, the entire first movie, he's like, I'm not going to be an X-Man. Yeah. See, in this one, it was better. He wasn't Van Wilder as much. Did you get that vibe from the first one? You hadn't seen it in a while. Yeah. I watched the first one last night, and the entire time I'm thinking of um. Well, he was in Van Wilder. Van Wilder. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> no, he break, wasn't bro. in Van Wilder. He was he is. Van Wilder. He is. Actually, it's Van funny you bring that up because it just got released on Blu-ray for the first time. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember just the his black time. friend, skinny dude? Never he was on it. Real Never World. Seen the movie. It's good. I've seen like ten funny. minutes of it. It's pretty. It's okay. It just. It looks like one of those shitty fucking movies. It's better than youth. cock blockers. It's better than cock That's blockers. That's not saying much. There was this dude uh, who was on Real World. He was set to be this huge star. He was in that movie and that it and that alone. His name was like Jersey Tech or something. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I would have. Yeah. I'd give my fucking left toe to be honest. That show first season. Oh well, yeah, Jersey Shore. Never have to work again, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they're not. I'm sure they're probably fucking begging for Just change. think about bullshit. How many bullshit sponsorships and stuff? You yeah, know what I mean? some tanning salon sponsorships. Okay. How did you um? How did you feel about the girl Domino? I was okay. really into her. She was she sexy. Was no, hot. I mean, yeah, she's definitely. I thought you meant acting. I, no, I liked her acting. Her tits I, were great. She was beautiful, man. She's yeah. fucking gorgeous, uh, and I I really want to see her in more stuff. Like, yeah, I, I I think she's gonna. Could be she have been the girl from Annihilation? And no, not a, not okay. a chance. That was Tessa Thompson from Creed. I not, always mix no. her up with other other young black, They're young not African American actresses. I know this chick Domino. Is I'm a little way a little tired. Let's way say. fucking hotter. The kid winking in jail was funny. Do you remember oh, the kid yeah. wink? Don't don't do that. <laughs> There was kind of, that kind was of a weird, weird like, like the why, cafeteria they put, why would they put the over? kid in the jail with a bunch of grown ass men? Are you guys just yeah, asking? Are you really complaining about logic in this yeah, fucking movie? It's just, it was the first, like, why is this kid wearing capris? <laughs> I, I, a capri oh jumpsuit. My God. I'll tell you, I love the fucking bit with the whole. Uh, was the prison what was part it called about his ass? What? With the pen? The. This. Prison prison wallet. Prison wallet. That's not what it's called. <laughs> I've watched a lot of those lockup shows. They call it's it some Oz. keister. They keister it. I'll tell you, yeah, the prison scene was the highlight for me. That it never. The kid won me over in it, prison. It never reaches <laughs> that height after that for me. Yeah, love the kid, and they have really good chemistry. Ryan Reynolds and him together. I got worried about the kid at first, but the kid, he's goofy. He's, he's good. He's nice. He's good. Yeah, I really like him. And like I say, definitely check out Home for the Wilderness People with him. It was fucking great. Loved yeah. it. Yeah, he was really good in it. He named his little dog Tupac and. <laughs> he referenced Tupac in this yeah. at least two or three yeah, times. Tupac as well. and Ice Cube. So the kid's going to be a part of the X Faction? <laughs> the X Force? X Factor. X Forces. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, I can't it. believe they're going to make another team up movie. How many? Now there's going to be. I'm surprised you're shocked at this. Now there's going to be a team up movie where the Avengers all come back. They all die at the end of the movie, right? Not all of them. Most of them, probably. 
Spoilers they're gonna for Avengers back. Infinity War. Yeah, I thought they were going to kill... <laughs> See, he said he was going to die in this. Deadpool did. I thought, oh, okay, at least they'll do that. I know they're not going to really kill him. He can come back. Well, I mean, yeah, they, they do kill him a whole bunch of times when he just comes back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I thought they were going to do one of the sappy... Whatever. Yeah. What were we just talking about? We are making fun of something else, the Avengers. Uh, well, we were talking about the prison scene with the pen on the ass and all that. The little kid. Yeah. Little Australian, little New Zealand, New Zealand, little New yeah, right. Zealand. Yeah, but um, <laughs> oh shit balls! I like the song. Oh shit balls! Yeah. The I... epic. <laughs> they were saying yeah. oh shit balls. Mm. I liked that. They uh, they did bring back the um, the whole you know the first basic movie instinct. The, yeah, with the with the was little baby. Was that the baby. reference with the kids that they didn't no, understand? No, that I mean that is one where it's like you haven't seen this fucking movie. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, no, when he has the little baby hands and the baby dick. And, and the baby they bring legs. the blind lady. <laughs> yeah. She's great. She was great for the first movie, too. But, no, the the reference that I, we were talking about earlier is Interview with the Vampire, which they bring up. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, You've that's the never obscure, that's fucking the obscure seen movie that movie. That I really was... Because if you're born after, like, 1985, Bro, the there's no here. reason for you to watch that movie. It's awful. It's what? long. What? I fucking love Interview with the Vampire. I dude. thought it was long and boring. Oh, Too much gay overtones for oh, me. I, I love Interview with the Vampire. Yeah. I saw it on VHS when I was young. And, and the fucking I mean, scene maybe I should watch it again. With Tom okay. Cruise throwing that fucking hooker in the uh, the casket. And then he just jumps on it and he's slamming it. And she's screaming in front of Brad Pitt. And he's just horrified because he's turned him. I like he's Brad just, Pitt oh, in it. Man. I oh, thought I, Tom Cruise might have Antonio been too Banderas much. I thought Tony was really creepy in that, too. I don't remember him much. He's I have to the one who, watch like, it again. Yeah, he was give the, it another watch, yeah. man. Give it another watch. He was like the anti-Tom Cruise. Christian Slater's in it, too. He's the guy at the beginning. He was interviewing him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... Gotta uh, watch it again. Yeah, I, I like it. There's like a real... One of one of the Blu-ray transfers like that has like really shitty audio. I got it on DVD good. from the library. Yeah. Much like I got Bicycle Thieves last night. But uh, yeah, that was one of the references where I was just like... Because that, that joke from the kid... Um, not the kid, but, um, The Indian guy? The Indian guy who brings up being in love with 10-year-old <laughs> Kirsten Dunst from Interview with He the wants Vampire. to be, like, 10-year-old Kirsten Dunst. I want, I want to be, to... like, 10-year-old want... Kirsten Dunst from Interview from a Vampire. I want... Bite me, Brad Pitt. It's like, I want to taste the blood and give me more. Brad Pitt made a shocking Brad, camera. Brad Pitt I like that. Cameo, I thought it was pretty good. Which ties into the Interview with a Vampire. He was an invisible man. <laughs> Literally. I really enjoyed all the shots of the I thought there was going to be more goon. I, 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 for the first time I saw it, I was like, okay. But then <laughs> the plane they kept bringing it up. Like, I, I, I really me. enjoyed it. it, was, it I was like funny. that it turned out to be Brad Pitt. I thought that was clever. Yeah, that was okay. I just I just feel like it's like, oh, look, famous person. Eh, it's okay. Well, yeah, but eh. I understand your thoughts. It's but not it's, like... It's funny for me because... Like, uh, you remember a million ways to die in the West? Everyone's like, why is Ryan Reynolds there? That's not funny. I'm like, oh, it's kind of funny. It's just Ryan Reynolds in the middle of the movie getting he shot. In, he was in Ted, too. Ted as well. I, was, I, don't I never know, saw I the like second that. one. I didn't like Ted that yeah, he, much. He was, uh, Ted sucks. I yeah. didn't see the second one. He was in the first one, I'm sorry. I don't remember. But, uh, I yeah, remember he, Joel McHale. Yeah, but um, I was going to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the cameo of Brad Pitt. It's not like something like... Like Bill Murray in Zombieland, where it's great, where it's like an elongated no. scene, and you're like, "Oh, well, that's shit. the thing. This is just a cameo. It's just a yeah." But that was a cameo too. It's a surprise cameo, a scene, and then he's gone. Yeah. It's like I like I like the cameos to be actual scene, not just and, he's yeah. there. Yeah, okay. I, I need I need a little I just meat was, on the bone. I just like the give, give me a little taste. Of course, give they me would make taste. the most famous person <laughs> in the movie the Invisible Man. Yeah, well, he probably did. They're the Vanish. He, Pardon me. The, the vanishing, vanisher. the vanisher. <laughs> don't, don't let Universal hear me he, say he, that term Universal. again. Universal, Twenty Century Fox, get a fucking rip. no, no, no. The other one, what I said before, and let's just say he has similar powers to the Vanisher. Oh. Don't say his name, okay? His movie should be coming out real soon. That Mummy did great. I oh hear. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Notice I said that Mummy. <laughs> that mummy. not another word that starts with oh, okay. th. Th. The uh, um. What else? Yeah, do we what got else? Here? What else you got in that fucking scribble book? Flashbacks. I hate oh, Wade Wilson. So you wrote it. You wrote back flashes on After. one page and then flashbacks no, it's on, on the, the other. It's on the same page too. <laughs> it's just a little bit. It was dark Jesus. in there. 
They should have skipped all the cable ones. They should have had many. They should have just gotten rid of the Wade Wilson. Look for not look for your heart. Your heart's not in the right place. Yeah, that didn't that, work. that was, that was them trying to give her something to do. If you're gonna kill Which, her off, kill her off. Just let her be gone. Yeah. You hear? Yeah, they wanted to bring in the sappy. They got to get women into the theater. They got to get that. 50%. Yeah, but was, was there sappiness in the first one? Other, they just there yeah, whole, it was the fucking. It was a love story. The whole fucking movie was about. Yeah, but the they love were just story. banging and being disturbing the entire yeah, first part. Yeah, kind of. But it's, it's then a he love got story. cancer and, he's and her and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I like it better that he just had to save this little kid. Yeah. I, I like I like I'm a sucker for the T two. The juggernaut so. made an appearance. Yeah, we didn't talk about the juggernaut, which he never says his classic line. I'm never the juggernaut, goes, bitch. Yeah, he never says it. Which do I do a good impression of? I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Nah, it's okay. Nah, You're shitty. right. I'm sorry. It's awful. Terrible. When I first say it, I'm like, <gasps> You're like, oh my god, I'm amazing. <laughs> and then you just just shoot me. Yeah, down. I I honestly I I thought the whole. Juggernaut fight was anticlimactic, and and you know Ryan Reynolds' character goes, you know he basically says time for a CGI fight, and yeah. it's like yeah, but you still do a shitty you CGI still do fight. A CGI fight just because yeah. you reference it doesn't give you an excuse to yeah. do it. Yeah. So. Um, the ending, I didn't like it. Oh, I the liked... after credit scenes, they were okay. They didn't. You, if you're gonna make me sit and stay in a movie, the the, the, the Green Lantern one really got me when he's like, I can "Oh, see I can't. This I script's gonna it. make me." He just blows his fucking yeah. head. I loved that. That was fucking great. What was the first one again? I asked you earlier and I forgot it. The already. first end credits scene. Yeah. Um. They're, they're bringing up the X Force. They they do bring that up that they're gonna be doing an X Force movie. Yeah. I can't remember what exactly the scene was, but. I'm not excited yeah. about the X-Force movie. No, I mean, I've heard that it uh, probably won't... It'll probably be like PG-13, I've heard. Of course it will. That, that's You've what I've heard. you made so much money at Rated R. Why not go PG-13? Because it's going to be a lot higher budget, so... Yeah, yeah you got to pay Josh Brolin for the whole thing. Yeah, so, I mean, who knows? Wait, who else? What's part of the X-Force? The little, the little New Zealand kid? Yeah. The Pete... Well, did gotta, Pete die? That was the end scene. He goes they back reverse to save time Pete, and saves but did Pete. he save Pete? They should have killed him anyways. Nah, I'm glad they didn't kill Pete. I want to see him in more movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pete, man. I fucking love Pete. I knew it was coming. He was so fucking good. The scenes of him in the when plane. When he jumped out of the airplane, I liked that. <laughs> oh, that was great. I didn't see it. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see it. I, okay, he's going to do it awkwardly and yeah. sit down first. Oh, yeah, they're trying to push him off the ledge of the plane. <laughs> that was good. I that was great. That. I love that. Yeah, Pete was great. I wish Pete was in the movie a little more. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, he reverses time and he saves his girlfriend. That's what he does in the first one. Were there any other things that didn't work for you? Were there, what else stuck out to you? What else didn't work, my friend? Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of the humor was hit and miss for me. and uh, me Some too. of the action was okay. I mean, References. Yeah. It's just I'm not a big... You know, you know, like I said, even with Ready Player One, it's like you know, it. It's well, okay. Ready Player One, it was too egregious because it was just you know That's what book. references were yeah. coming. I didn't read the book. I'm just saying you know what references because nerds. So you knew the when Shining see was coming. Alien, I didn't know that. Yeah. But Alien, yeah, all Alien stuff, obviously. That, yeah. You see a Back to the Future car. Yeah, I know. What car. That you see a Back to the Future car. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, some of the some of the references in this are, are deep cuts for sure. Like Which I, I like. I mean, at least it's something you wouldn't expect to come. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, you... a lot of um, sexual innuendo involving a child. <laughs> yeah, I was. What they bring exactly up a did he say? I'm inside you. I was inside you. Yeah. Something like that. And they said, uh, "I've been in your shoes." It was the next one. He said, "Oh, that one's not good either." Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't really, I mean, it's just, you know, if you're into the Marvel, if you're one of these nerds that they say <laughs> nowadays, you're going to go see this movie anyway, so go right. fucking see it. Just eat it up like goddamn soup. Eat it like soup, huh? You like to eat soup. <laughs> I'm frightened. Drink now. soup, guys, you fuck. Guys, I'm frightened. Question, well, is cereal it. soup? No. Yes, well, in a way, it is. It's, it's yeah, 100% yeah, 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 yeah. You can see here's. <laughs> I've told you this many times. I can make an argument for anything either way. Is a hot dog a sandwich? 
And it's meat. Uh, meat, and, meat and bread. If you want to throw chili cheese in there, whatever you can. Sonic, surprisingly expensive. Avoid, Avoid Sonic, Sonic fast yeah. food. I bought oh, a hot dog the that they screwed up. I'll get this in, then we'll get back on point. Because I want up. them I want them to know. Should have got a refund. I got a hot dog. I asked for I asked for a hot dog. I asked for a cheese dog, just cheese, no chili. What do they do? Put chili on. They just give me chili, no cheese. So yeah, I take that back. I threw it in a fucking face. I they said, fucked everything up. They fucked everything up. A unilateral, you went through a catastrophic through? malfunction. I did. So when you got home, you saw no. I didn't get home. Feet. I parked and I started. I was uh -huh. gonna eat right there. Now I'm hungry. Down. See, that's a good thing about the drive-through. People understand why go. You're trying to save time. Why go to the drive-through and then drive home? Go to the drive-through and then park. Yeah, yeah. But what if you want to watch something while you're eating? I don't want to fucking sit in the parking lot. Mm. And just chew into the fucking nether. Mm. <laughs> Not only did they fuck up my hot dog, I got a milkshake. Oh man! And I got Lord. some mozzarella sticks. Holy shit! Big spender here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's fast food. Why is it costing me ten bucks for a milkshake, mozzy sticks? Must have been a lot more than ten bucks. It must have been like fucking twenty dollars for it. It was ten bucks at least. Ten bucks for. A milkshake, Small milkshake, mozzarella sticks, four piece. and a hot dog. Four piece of mozzarella sticks. Oh. A four piece is in a. You think ten bucks is a lot for all that? That's uh, Burger King and Costco sell hot dogs for a dollar, my friend. Yeah, the burger. Yeah, and you're gonna have fucking. I never got a chance. I never shooting from those. I never got a chance to try the Burger King hot dog. Let me know in shit. the comments it how not, it, was. it was. I it was this shit. guy's kind of a prick when it involves fast food. Let me know. Besides, it helps my the, brand the awareness. The two for six deal going on right now, Burger King's pretty legit. It's pretty good. See, I don't want anything from there. I mean, I love. Yeah, I like King's the chicken okay. parm sandwich whenever That's they do gone. that. It's I gone. know. It was like oof, it's know. routine. It's good for a while, and I was like, yeah, I can't eat this anymore. Let's get back to um. Oh, we just give our final another commercial. Here. I think we're another done. commercial <laughs> endeavor. Deadpool two filmed in Quebec. Yeah. Final ratings. How many of those noises have I made? I'm like a um Smack your lips. Huh? I'm like a fifteen year old African American girl in <laughs> sociology class. If they if kids of that age went You're doing to that sociology. For all those ASMR lovers out there smacking your lips. Who is what is that? It's um basically people who need to fall asleep that listen to like um Ambient people like noises. writing like writing on paper that they yeah. find it or like listening to a fan. I used to listen to I was about to say I used to have a fan either. that ran twenty four hours a day. It really helps me helped me sleep. And uh, there's alcohol. a lot of people who alcohol and fans. heroin helps me a lot now. <laughs> yeah. They fuel my kind of dreams. Heroin coke and nice little speed ball for you. Fucking <laughs> feet river. <laughs> Chug uh, Chuck some Jaeger. <laughs> I hate ever since one day where I drank it and I vomited for a while, I will never drink Jaeger again. I just hate that shit. Reflux. No, I just hate it. Mm. The taste, the smell of it. You don't have anything, any liquor like that, where you just got super sick? Oh, and, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of Jose Cuevo. I'm done, I'm done with tequila. I don't want to fucking drink it anymore. Not funny enough. <laughs> not actiony enough. Standard action. Even though, like you said, you pointed out, he pointed out the CGI fight, big CGI fight. They would point out the cliches and stuff, and they would still do them. Yeah. I can't offhand think of another, so I look like a total dick, and I apologize. <laughs> Give it a six. I laughed. I chuckled a few times. Yeah. And high production values look good. Yeah, I'm kind of wavering between the the five and a six here. Uh, it's it's. Uh... Fucking man, get your fucking ass in gear. Yeah, what are you waiting for? I mean, it, it really started working for me towards the Choose a side. Half. So, yeah, I, I'd go, um, yeah, I'd go six out of ten. It's, you know, it's an okay one-time watch, I think. Yeah, I'm never gonna, I had no desire. No desire Honestly, to I had no desire it. to watch the first one, except I didn't remember much about it. Oh, it was at the library. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, gang, I'll give you some library recommendations. I got God. the Gregory Peck one, where he was Atticus Finch, a lawyer. Jesus. I can't think of the name. Tell me again. Gregory Peck. To Kill a Mockingbird. Kill Not a mo Gregory Peck. Atticus Finch. Yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird. Number Gregory one. Peck. To Kill a Mockingbird. It's so. It's an old movie, but the dialogue, it works. It's so sharp. 
they really I'm glad they like super adapted it from the book yeah it's definitely uh, considered one of the greatest like uh, film adaptations from a book just yeah. since I brought it up earlier and I'm remembering it now the one scene where Atticus is outside the jail protecting a certain person you'll figure it out if you turn on the movie it's pretty quickly mm-hmm. yeah the kids come because they're worried they're nervous go home now you hear scout no daddy we ain't going then a mob comes upon them you know why don't you clear out here finches we gonna hang us this black boy no I'm not gonna let that happen the little girl what's her name scout Scout. the boy's name is Jem scout she's like she sees the guy who drops off peanuts to him for legal work earlier and she's like Hey, Mr. Hutchinson. Hello, Mr. Hutchinson. How are you? You, hey, I know you. You dropped off peanuts to my daddy. And he just looks away. That's one of the, like, most powerful moments. It's just one of those things that I see once and it really sticks with you. That's what, like, um, racism is. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It's like people just going along with it, you know? Like, he looks down because he knows... They're about to kill this guy and his kids. You know what I mean? And like yeah. he knows them. He, he it's um very tense. Yeah, it's a great movie. Stuff. Uh, I watched it <laughs> because we were reading the book in school. I didn't <laughs> want to read the book anymore. And my dad was like, "Oh, just get the movie from the library." And I watched it, and I was like, "Wow, this is this Did is you finish great. the book? No, I read the first half. There was no need. The book, the movie is such an amazing adaptation. Did they cut? I was going to ask you. I think they may have cut out something because there's something they talk yeah, about sure. in the movie. I'm like, why didn't I see that though? The movie's pretty long. It's like oh, it's about two hours. two hours and eight minutes. I'd yeah. say it's pretty decent length. Uh, but yeah, very good. I, I love Gregory. Flies by. Pink. It's it is two hours and eight minutes, yeah. but there's a lot going on. I mean, it's one of those classic movies that is just like all dialogue, but the dialogue's so good. The movie flies by. We've we've talked about before, like a few good men and kind of Aaron, like really well written movies. If you like, I'm gonna give you a bunch of movies that if you like movies, you gotta. I would suggest at least if you can try to look for them, look for them. There's a lot of people that can't. They, there's a lot of people they won't even watch movies in black and white. You know, I mean, there's a lot, especially when I was in. It looks kid. so dope, though. I know. Just but, to kill a mockingbird. That scene yeah. I was just talking about. The darkness, the lamps lighting on the girl. They, they lit specifically for that for style. For black and white. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, but I'm sure you have the same experience when you were a kid in, in school. And when they would roll the TV out. Hmm. And they would say, oh, we're going to watch a movie. There were kids immediately screaming, is it in black and white? Yeah. You know, which never bothered me. There's been me many people, many there. adults who are yeah. like 20, 25 and older who will refuse to watch subtitled movies. Yeah, you're missing out on Which a lot. Which segues to the next library recommendation. <laughs> Vittorio De Sica's 40s classic, Bicycle Thieves. Starring a bunch of Italian people. You've never heard before. Yeah, and I've never, never heard of before. seen anything else, probably. It's a slice-of-life family drama that... It just... <sighs> usually sort of slice of life where nothing happens but it's just this family sort of dealing with one thing or just sort of in a picture of their lives I find it incredibly boring this is incredibly this one I find incredibly captivating and the ending is so perfect for me because it's like that's what we've been doing this entire movie so of course it's going to end this way you know what I mean yeah it's 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 got that mindset of uh, you know it's not a thriller but it has that I aspect of you're being catapulted there's a lot with of the characters. subtext with um, dealing with like sort of post-war Italy as well you don't have yeah. to be well versed they pretty much yeah, let's spell it out for as you. long as you you're paying attention you know what's, yeah, you you know what's going tell. on but yeah it's it's it reminds me of kind of those those like thrill those 90 minute thrillers where you're just with one character yeah. kind of going through it's it's catapulting you through the story but um, this one's it's much more it's slow good. pace than that it's much more you're just with them you know? Yeah, walking around and stuff. A yeah. man who, um, in post-war Italy, as you can imagine, post-war meaning World War II, there's still no work. He gets a, finally gets a job. He can support his wife and son. He's going to be a... He, like, has a bike, and he rides around and puts up posters. On his first day of work, his bike is stolen. Now he has to find it. I did a very good review on it, which say. is uh, copyright-stricken. So oh, don't so watch to, it. You had to 
Well, take it down. No, it's or... on it. But it was one of my first All movies, revenue. so it doesn't yeah. like count against me or something. <clears throat> Number three. <laughs> Deadpool, because you're watching this review, you've already seen it, or you're gonna see the second Sorry, one. The library back. Might as well see that. I got it from the library. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> if you like the second one, you're gonna like the first, and vice mm. versa. The fourth, <laughs> I have never seen. Kegemusha, or Mushka Kegemusha, by Akira Kurosawa. I'm guessing it's from. 70s, 60s, 80s maybe. About ninjas and samurai and probably, shit. Probably not 80s. The Shogunate, as if you will. Is that his horror movie? I don't know. No idea. It just had an interesting cover. Mm -hmm. And plus, I don't know. I want to see more of his movies. Yeah. You know, he's supposed to be a master. You know, like well, Spielberg and all them look up to him and stuff, well, right? Or yeah, something. Absolutely. I think I heard. Ridley Scott is the one who helped nah. get Ran. Uh, Fun. It was the highest budget of Japanese film at the time. Um, and continue. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, for for Kurosawa recommendations, it's tough because there's a lot of people who aren't going to be able to watch. I saw Samurai. one. I saw Throne of Blood. It was not. It's a Hamlet. It's Hamlet. It was okay. Yeah. See, the, see, those are the movies that you know, not. It, like you can, the, the way they're filmed is amazing. It's he's an art, you know, he's a master you visual can, artist, yeah, he's, if you will. He's definitely a master filmmaker. You can drinking see. game, if you will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drinking game. We'll bring that up again. Um, it's a good. Uh, what other Kurosawa movies have you seen that you would uh, recommend? Since I brought it up, and I don't, I can't remember the other. Oh, I can I remember would, the other. I would recommend uh, Yo Jimbo and Sanjuro. How they're, old are they? Um. Mid fifties, okay. fifty four, and around there, and basically, uh, a fistful of dollars is a complete shot for shot ripoff of Yojimbo. Um, basically, uh, Sergio, yeah, Sergio Leone loved the film, and he actually t took a film reel and he would show it on set every single day. And uh, actually, and this this is amazing. Um, Akira Kurosawa sued him way back then. And he won 10% royalty of the film's entire gross. Mm, good for him. And he made more money off that than any film he ever made in his career, there's which a is lot tragic. Less, well, there's a lot less people but, in Japan than there are in yeah, America and Europe. I, obviously, but it's just, it, it's heartbreaking because it's amazing that back then that he well, actually discovered it. You know, and it's, there's uh, so many artists, man, that just, yeah. you know, they don't notice the work till they're dead. Fucking Van Gogh. You died penniless with fucking syphilis or something. Yeah. I don't know why I brought him up. That was very strange. <laughs> well, a lot of painters in general, they don't, they're not, uh... Recognized. Until they're dead. Yeah. That's a lot, a lot of it. Not really any painters now that you hear about, really. I remember Rory the last... Gallagher. Oh, Just because I've never heard of him. Is that the guy who... No, he's a musician. Oh, okay. I heard this cup... A muse, deep cut music, YouTube or look up... After this video, of course, Rory Gallagher's "Where the When the Crow Flies" or "Where the Crow Flies" live from Ireland, 1974. It's one of the best interpretations of a sort of prohibition, post World War One era blues mm -hmm. song music. I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And I love that kind of music. Mm -hmm. Most people hate it, and I can understand. It's uh, it's tough for some people to take. It's but, just so. Uh, it's just one guy and a guitar, and it's so fucking powerful, you know what I mean? It's better than, you know, eight fucking bass lines and four fucking tubas. <laughs> eight bass lines. And then Lady Gaga tubas. yelling fucking poker cha-cha and shit. She, she's got a good voice, you gotta admit. She's a, she's I a can good respect. Singer. I can respect your voice. If you yeah, listen absolutely. to her with Tony Bennett, and even her last album, uh, Jolene, like, she, she's Jolene, a great, she's a great Jolene. singer. She's a great singer, but, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, a lot of the pop shit, but, um... <clears throat> Yeah, do you, do you remember that painter that everyone was talking about who would, like, draw, like, the olives who had hands and they were in the martini glasses? Like, that was, like, the last painter I remember people were... Pablo Picasso? <laughs> Pablo, he didn't draw martini glasses with olives that had hands and arms. I don't know. Ah, well, whatever. Is Pablo Picasso the one who made... There's this one painting that I saw in New York City. It was of... After he draw the, a bomb got dropped in either Spain or Cuba, and it was just like body part, it was blue, and there's like body parts and stuff. It, I draw, thought that was very interesting. He, if you know that painting, 
comments. He would like draw people that were like really disproportionate, like their heads were gigantic, yeah, their faces, and, and towards the end, cubism and, and stuff. Yeah, I'm not you know what I mean? All that shit. I don't know what it means, but I know I've heard it before. I do like cubism. I do like looking at some of Pollock's stuff. He did just the, yeah. the, the, the I, I like looking at a lot of stuff, and and I will shout out somebody here. Huh. There's a documentary. It's a short documentary on Jim Carrey and all of his art that he makes, and it's on like Vimeo. It's incredible. Like it is fucking incredible. He is so fucking talented. Hmm. It blew my mind just seeing him talk about the art and how he makes it. It was fucking incredible. So I would, uh, I would, I would recommend that yeah. for people. I know we're going off on a weird tangent. Right? I'll um. <sighs> I'll give you I, I love Jim Carrey and I'm really kind of sad that kinda the way people are kind of talking about him and everything. What do you mean? Just saying that he's a total fucking like retard and he's lost his mind. I I just think he's kind of fed up with the bullshit and well, like yeah. he has all these birds in his house and stuff and he, he's just you know he's he's like at peace you know and, and he doesn't want to be a part of Hollywood anymore and he's just making art and there's nothing wrong with that. We'll do um. I need to shit on the guy. I for got fucking yeah. Being an artist, he just wants to do his own thing. That people are people are dicks. Yeah. I think you understand that. The um, I'll give you a couple more art factoids. Did you know that the term Gaudi comes from a Spanish painter named Gaudi? Nope. Didn't Not know. painter. Spanish artist. There's a bunch of shit in, like, mm. Spain and Catalan or whatever they call it now that's, like, no. built by him. And one more art that I'll recommend. I wanted to get the name just right. <laughs> Francisco Goya's Saturn Devouring His Son. Mm. Something very powerful about it. Here, I'll show my compadre, Goya Francisco. Oh, interesting. It's just very... very that's visceral. the most... Tra the, yeah, the very most visceral painting I've ever seen in the name, too. Yeah. The last library recommendation, which was not a good movie. I want to recommend another painting. Pink Panther. <laughs> Pink Panther. The first one, it's too slow, it's too tame. I don't know which ones I recommended, but the ones I recommended, they're super goofy and silly, and I love them. Yeah. They must right. be from the 70s. Yeah. Recommend your painting. But uh, it was the blue period from, I think it was Van Gogh you brought up before, where there's like this giant castle that he made, and it's like there's all this blue in the background. I can't remember the name of the painting. It's really famous, but... It's the one with the moons? Yeah, there's like a giant black tower, and then there's blue in yeah. the background, and there's like a moon. Yeah, I've, everyone's seen it a dozen yeah, times. It's, it's I can't just, think of the name. It's just, yeah. I took it's art his class blue period. about eight it's years ago. I actually got pretty good at drawing. I, I'm awful. I'm terrible. I was, it's it's like you just have to, you just have to keep I, up with. I it. just illustrated my poor yeah. penmanship. I I actually have a picture. I drew this fish in art class, and it's like the best thing I've ever drawn in my fucking life. And I still have it. It was in like high school. Impeccable. I, my teacher we had made to make us a clay. Yeah. Like, uh, a representation and then draw it. Yeah, we had to make we had to draw what we wanted to make with the clay. Yeah, and then we stuck it on the thing and made it. And I still have the the fish too that I made. But uh, I had the best art. Ex I had the best art experience after my first year of high school. And first year of high school, that's the only time I ever made any art. Yeah. The best thing I made, which I didn't really make, was a self portrait where basically. <laughs> I did it really poor job, and then my teacher saw and felt bad, and was like, really? "Okay, I'm gonna come in and do this for you." Ouch. Then after that, my next two years of art, oh, you took a it lot was, of years of art. Well, let me explain. You don't understand. <laughs> the next two years were, I didn't have to go, I didn't have to be there, I didn't have to do anything. If I was there, I'd get a hundred. Wow. Quite frankly, the coolest teacher ever. I'm gonna leave his name a secret, even though he's retired. Don't want that tenure to get jeopardized. Yeah. But if you know who I'm talking about, you know what's up. Thinking about his pension. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. He told me about <laughs> land in Hawaii. I don't know. I Was he the that. guy who said to you that? Um, because remember we were talking a long time ago. It was about uh, roosters. No, no, no. Cocks no, and no, such. No, it was about um. Uh, Marlon Brando and how he fucked Richard Pryor and all this. Was that the teacher who said to you, like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no was that was in college. That oh. was in college. That was in, uh, <laughs> that was in playwriting oh. class. Jesus. I don't think, he was, that teacher was in, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Night of the Living Dead from, like, 89 or 90. Right. 
I don't think okay. he liked me much. A lot of people, I never saw it. A lot of people love that one. Tom Savini directed it, who did all the gore for yeah. the, the original. Um, He's one of the big Deadpool. famous effects guys. Yeah, practical effects guys, yeah. The original. He didn't do Night of the Living Dead, but he did Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. He's no Rob Botten. He's no Greg Nicotero, I'll put it that way. <laughs> I don't know who that and he's is. No, uh, I thought I was going to do uh, a deep cut for the fans. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's no Rick Baker. He has about go. seven Academy is. Awards. <laughs> what does he have Academy Awards for? Uh, Wolfman. Okay. Uh, I think American Werewolf in London. If he um, ever earned it, it was for American fucking Werewolf, man. Yeah, he's That went up against incredible. The Thing, if The Thing got nominated. I uh, I'll be honest, as much as I love The Thing, yeah. the practical effects on American Werewolf in London. I just, I'll always, I'll too. always love it's... the spider, the crab spider head that crawls yeah, off the table. It's great. It's, and it's just great, like, but it, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Like, the Werewolf in London, it... It so fucking holds up. Like, every yeah. frame of that I love that movie, movie because God, every song, good. every pop song that appears has Moon in the involved in it movie. heavily. If you, if you love that movie... Moon. If you really love that movie, you would have fucking hated the Tom Cruise Mummy movie. I wanted to rip... Him. I wanted to fucking oh, yeah. destroy I watched, like, a certain lettered media <laughs> thing about it. Why would they do that? That's just, just a bad totally idea. Totally fucking rip off the whole uh, fucking char- side character and them being dead is just awful. All right, fucking my friend. Slap in the face. Do you have any other suggestions? Art, music, dance, <laughs> so sexual weird that, positions. It's so weird that we went on an art tangent. It happens, man. Um, it's a podcast. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do like looking at art. Like when I go to the fair and they have um, uh, we won't say what fair. <laughs> Good. But um, the. There, there's an art um, building, and I don't they'll have live like in, I don't live in Peru, <laughs> but they have an art building every year, and it has you know younger kids are you know all the way through up through high school, yeah. and I just I, every year like if I do go to the fair, that's the one thing I really love going up there. You know, there, there's an old soda machine there, get a can of soda, and I just walk down the whole thing. And there's some sometimes some years just incredible fucking yeah. beautiful art and some really great photography. I, I do like looking at a lot of still photography like of snow and and especially of animals like foxes and stuff like that i'm into that i shit. like uh, i like watching pictures of foxes too my yeah. friend <laughs> oh yeah hey, you like watching the discovery channel <laughs> you might say that i discover <laughs> like the a old bunch fashion. i discover a bunch on my yeah. internet you love watching all those uh archive african footage <laughs> Ooh, baby <laughs> African tribe footage. I remember in eighth grade, we went to New York City with Spanish class, and we went to like two or three different museums. Mm-hmm. I don't remember any of the art specifically, except one was of Che Guevara. But like Che Guevara. Do you remember? Um, did you ever see the movie? No, nah, I haven't seen it too long. Yeah, it's the Soderbergh did it. The uh, it's all in Spanish, right? Yeah. Good. Benicio good. del Toro did it. it. Was the man he played Shay? Was it I good? I haven't seen it. Okay. It's, it's one of those, like you said, it's just so long. What was I just saying? The one you remember the guy who painted a soup can? Yes, yes, the famous soup can. It was you, like from what, World War Two or around there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Do you remember he did that <laughs> painting? <laughs> that painting where it was Marilyn Monroe, but a bunch of different colors. Yes, yes, almost like kind of the Beatles. It was kind that of, of thing. Che Guevara. Yeah, it was that, but Che. It's a funny side note. I had a Che Guevara. Cubans all... hate Cubans hate Che Guevara. I had, I had a Che Guevara wallet. It was a wallet. I had a wallet. Do you chain. feel embarrassed? No, I, I was. I had my wallet chain, and I fucking loved it when I was. And I'm embarrassed. Mister, I'm embarrassed. I want to be a trucker when I grow up. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to collect cans outside the motel. Yeah, I actually bought that wallet from a friend of mine because it was out of print. It was an out of print wallet. You just love out of print. Do you just you love remember, collecting things? Listen, and and do you know where it was from? Do you remember Media Play? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it That's where I bought my iPod Shuffle. Yeah, I also had an insane clown. Posse I talked about wallet. somebody at work today about Media Play. This is weird. Did they, they glaze over? They talked about how they got. Um, there used to be one here. Yeah, I know. That's where I got the iPod Shuffle. Then there it was became a, a skate huge park. Huge one too. Yeah. They never had good deals on movies. Though. It was always shitty deals. Yeah. They were the worst for deals. I would get some CDs there. Well, because there's no money in selling movies. Yeah, I guess you're the right. The fucking... You gotta pay the studio. You gotta pay the royalties to everybody else. And then you gotta pay for... Trying to take my physical copies, you fuck! Yeah, but I'm saying it's <laughs> the truth. 
They just need to stop making shit movies, and they could save some money. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not going to happen. All right, gang. This is the time when I tell you, you know, Hickory dickory shirt dock it. Hickory dickory dock. Take your shirt and cover your cocks. <laughs>